In the boundless universe, on a speck of cosmic dust, arose a mind that dared to fathom its mysteries. In the lineage of the greatest thinkers, one name resounds with a unique echo, a beacon of brilliance and resilience. The hallowed halls of Oxford to a universe beyond our grasp. One man's journey defied the conceivable. He spoke of singularities and the birth of time, painting a canvas where science and imagination intertwined. A voice that resonated across continents, bringing the stars within our grasp, igniting a cosmic curiosity in hearts young and old. Yet behind the genius was a man, a father, a mentor, a spirit unyielding to life's harshest blows. Every new day became a bonus, and I began to appreciate everything I did have. While there's life, there is hope. Join us as we embark on the incredible odyssey of the luminous star of cosmology, Stephen Hawking. In the historical city of Oxford, a place of great minds and monumental discoveries, the stage was set in 1942. On the 8th of January, amidst the gloom of World War II, a star was born, quite literally. Stephen William Hawking entered the world, destined to unlock the universe's secrets. Born to Frank and Isabel Hawking, Stephen wasn't alone in his quest for knowledge. His father, a prominent researcher in tropical medicine, and his mother, a lover of philosophy laid the foundation. Together, they built a family where the skies weren't the limit, but just the beginning. With two younger sisters, Philippa and Mary, and an adopted brother, Edward, the Hawking House buzzed with curiosity. In every star family, there's a standout, a supernova. Stephen, with his unparalleled genius, was that luminary. But it was this constellation, this family, that grounded and supported him, pushing him towards his stellar destiny. Within the realms of this ordinary home, an extraordinary mind was brewing, preparing to challenge the very fabric of our understanding. Even before the annals of science heralded him, a young Stephen Hawking was already charting his own celestial journeys. While most kids reveled in the mundane, Stephen's playtime was a dance of intellect, pieces of a puzzle waiting to be deciphered. By his teens, his reading list would stump many adults. Theories, equations, space-time, mere whispers of what awaited him. In the hallowed halls of academia, even then Stephen was a force to reckon with, effortlessly waltzing with numbers. Epic moments in space exploration were not just news headlines. For Stephen, they were whispers of a future he was destined to shape. School wasn't just about learning. For Stephen, it was a platform, a place to share, to challenge, and to embark upon cosmic voyages. Cambridge a centuries-old bastion of academia where countless legends have tread. And in 1962, it welcomed a young astrophysicist named Stephen Hawking. It was here, amidst ancient tomes and hallowed halls, that Stephen's genius found its true north, delving deeper into the mysteries of the universe. While many sought answers in textbooks, Stephen challenged them. His questions, radical, his theories, revolutionary. But for Stephen, Cambridge wasn't just about academic pursuits. It was a sanctuary, a place for reflection and cosmic contemplation. Within these walls, equations came to life, ideas transformed into revelations, and black holes unveiled their secrets. In the vast tapestry of the cosmos, few have dared to redefine its fabric. Stephen Hawking didn't just dare, he did. As the 1960s unfolded, so did Stephen's insatiable curiosity. From the birth of the universe to the enigma of black holes, his quest had begun. Challenging the conventional wisdom of the time, Hawking delved deep into the origins of everything, the Big Bang Theory. But what truly set Stephen apart was his audacity to explore the uncharted, the mysterious and formidable black holes. With a spark in his eye and an unmatched intellect, he introduced the world to Hawking radiation, a breakthrough that shook the foundations of cosmology. As contemporaries watched in awe, Stephen's work began to resonate worldwide, setting the stage for a new era in cosmological study. 1962, New Year's Eve. 
a party setting the stage for a meeting that would forever change two lives. Enter Jane Wilde, a language student with an effervescence to match Stephen's brilliance. When their eyes met, the universe paused. Cambridge soon bore witness to their budding romance. Every walk, every chat, binding them in a tapestry of affection and intellect. While Stephen unveiled cosmic mysteries, Jane became his anchor, grounding him in moments of joy, love, and unparalleled support. In 1965, amidst the old world charm of Cambridge, they exchanged vows, promising to navigate the mysteries of life together, a union of hearts and minds, the beginning of a partnership that would face trials, tribulations, and triumphs like no other. The next few decades saw them not just as partners in life, but as a formidable team against the adversities thrown their way. Their household echoed with laughter and cries of their three children, painting a portrait of a family founded on love, respect, and resilience. However, life, like the universe Stephen sought to understand, is ever-expanding, unpredictable, filled with complexities. In the face of Stephen's growing fame, the pressure of caregiving, and the natural challenges that come with such contrasting worlds and personalities, their bond began to strain. By the 1980s, with Stephen's condition intensifying and both navigating their personal evolutions, cracks appeared in their once unbreakable union. And in 1995, the couple decided to part ways. Within the intricate maze of the human body, sometimes cells falter. Enter ALS, or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Known commonly as Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS attacks nerve cells responsible for controlling muscles, leading to their eventual degeneration. What begins subtly with minor muscle twitches or slurred speech soon becomes an overwhelming battle against paralysis. While its onset is stealthy, ALS is relentless. Often patients face significant physical constraints within a mere few years. Stephen Hawking, diagnosed at 21, was given just a few years, but he defied all odds, turning years into decades, reshaping our understanding of resilience. With a prognosis of just a few years, one might expect surrender. But Hawking, he chose defiance. Each passing year wasn't a ticking clock, but a badge of honor. He transformed those few years into a lifetime of monumental contributions. In the grand theater of the universe, few actors are as enigmatic as black holes, and few understood their role as profoundly as Stephen Hawking. While Einstein's relativity painted a picture of black holes, there remained unanswered questions, mysteries lying at their very core. Thought to be voracious devourers, these cosmic entities seemingly swallowed everything, permitting no escape, not even light. But in 1974, Hawking proposed a radical idea at the edge of a black hole, quantum effects could cause it to emit particles. This emission, now known as Hawking radiation, suggested black holes weren't so black after all. They could shine and even evaporate over time. This revelation was monumental, bridging the worlds of quantum mechanics and general relativity, a leap towards the coveted theory of everything. In a universe brimming with mysteries, Hawking's genius illuminated the dark forever changing our cosmic perspective. In the vast universe of words, there came a book, born from the mind of a genius, destined to become a cosmological classic. Hawking's A Brief History of Time was no ordinary tomb. It was the distillation of profound truths about our universe. Years of research, countless discussions, and an unyielding drive to unravel the cosmos's secrets laid the foundation for this masterpiece. With ALS impeding his physical voice, Stephen relied on technology, pouring his thoughts one letter at a time. Translated into over 40 languages, a brief history of time became more than a bestseller. It was a global phenomenon. His magic lay in taking the esoteric and translating it into the tangible. Equations became narratives, theories transformed into tales. The letters poured in teachers, students, grandmothers, all expressing their newfound passion for cosmology, thanks to Hawking's genius. What Newton did with an apple, Hawking did with words, grounding cosmic laws in everyday experiences. Before the silence enveloped him, Stephen Hawking's voice echoed with the inquisitiveness of the universe. But as ALS wove its cruel spell, the physicist's voice began to fade, but not his spirit. 
In the mid-80s, technology became his savior. An early computer system enabled him to craft words, albeit slowly. With a single switch operated by his hand, Hawking could click his way into conversations. But as ALS further imprisoned his body, even that hand movement became a luxury. The solution? His piercing eyes. Engineers and programmers rallied behind him, evolving systems where a mere gaze could craft galaxies of thought. And then, the world heard it. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you too. That synthesized, computer-generated voice. It wasn't just a voice. It was a testament to human perseverance. His body was bound, but his mind. It danced with stars, defying gravity, just as his theories often did. A globe trotter, not just in thought, but in action. Earthly challenges couldn't tether a man whose heart belonged to the cosmos. Every word, every sentence crafted with an effort most of us can't fathom. Yet he wrote volumes. His voice resonated, not just in lecture halls, but in homes, bridging the universe's wonders with living rooms. Every word, a testament. Every pause, a reflection. To hear him was to witness the indomitable spirit of humanity. In the vast cosmic dance, Hawking didn't just observe, he waltzed, teaching us that true limitations are only of the mind. Intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. And for the dreamers, he had a message. Look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Be curious. Every star has its shadow, and Stephen Hawking's personal life, much like his theories, was complex and multidimensional. In 1995, Stephen married Elaine Mason, his former nurse, a union that drew the world's attention and sparked myriad reactions. Dark clouds appeared with allegations of mistreatment. Yet Hawking, ever the enigma, remained mostly silent. In 2006, the union ended. Another chapter closed in Hawking's deeply personal narrative. Yet beyond the realms of academia and intimate relationships, behind the genius of black holes and relativity, lay a playful trickster with an infectious sense of humor. Imagine Einstein, Newton, and Hawking at a poker table. Not a dream, but a Star Trek reality where Stephen showed his lighter side. From black holes to donuts, Hawking's cameo in The Simpsons made cosmic jokes accessible over a pint at Moe's. And who could forget his playful jousts with Sheldon Cooper? The Big Bang Theory was richer with his comical genius. Defying gravity in flight or playful races on the ground, Stephen's zest for life was undeniably contagious. He transcended academia, becoming a cultural icon. From street art to merchandise, Hawking was everywhere. On March 14, 2018, the universe grew a little dimmer. Stephen Hawking took his place amongst the stars. The world paused. News channels across the globe echoed the same somber note. We had lost a legend. From the streets of Cambridge to corners of continents far removed, grief was a universal language. Peers, protégés, and personalities worldwide shared tributes, each echoing how he had transformed their understanding of the cosmos. Monuments lit up, and iconic sites bore messages, as humanity's structures paid homage to a transformative figure. As Stephen Hawking was laid to rest, it was clear. His physical presence was gone, but his impact was eternal. A voice silenced, a chair empty, but in the vast orchestra of the universe, his notes will forever resound. Enormously privileged through my work, to be able to contribute to our understanding of the universe. But it would be an empty universe indeed, if it were not for the people I love, and who love me. As our journey through the unparalleled life of Stephen Hawking comes to a close, we're left with a profound appreciation for the boundless capacities of the human spirit. A spirit that knows no bounds, no limits, only possibilities. In the face of an affliction that would have deterred most, Hawking's spirit soared, making breakthroughs when merely speaking was an endeavor. Beyond the black holes and radiant energy, there was the man, a father, a friend, a pillar of resilience. To witness Hawking was to witness the triumph of will over adversity, 
of curiosity over constraints. If this journey has moved you, inspired you, or simply made you ponder the wonders of existence, then we invite you to be a part of our story. Subscribe, and together, let's continue to unravel the mysteries of time, life, and those who've left an indelible mark upon it. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's voyage, and don't forget to share this experience with others, for stories of inspiration are lights that should never dim. And as we set our sights on the next story, remember this. In this vast, ever-expanding universe, every story has its place, its moment, its legacy. And so do you. But before we wrap up, here's a sneak peek at our next journey through time. Our next video will delve into the extraordinary life of one of history's most iconic figures. As we travel through the tapestry of time, from the vast expanse of the universe, we're now shifting our gaze towards a different kind of star, one that shone brightest in the boxing ring. Imagine a man whose feet danced with a grace that defied gravity, whose words stung as sharply as his punches. They say he floated like a butterfly and stung like a bee. Prepare yourselves as we dive deep into the life of the unparalleled, the legendary Muhammad Ali, an odyssey of determination, civil rights, and a charisma that captivated the world. Join us next time as we dive into the exhilarating life of Muhammad Ali. Where every match was more than a fight, it was a statement. Thank you for being with us today. Stay curious, stay inspired. Until next time.